Hey guys, Sandy Curtis here with Berkshire Hathaway Bowen Realty in Hagerstown, Maryland. How are you doing today? Today I wanted to continue the discussion on HUD properties and what today's discussion is going to be is about understanding what their as is means. So when HUD sells a property, they don't repair them. Fannie Mae sometimes will go in and do a complete overhaul. They'll do what they need to do to get it through an FHA loan type, um, but HUD doesn't do any of that. HUD's properties come in a variety of conditions. Um, some of them are insurable. We'll discuss that at a later time. Um, but with HUD, they don't repair. So they don't want anybody to repair the properties. There's a liability issue with it. So their properties are sold as is. All right, so what does that mean to you as a buyer or a buyer agent? As is means, yeah, sure, you can do the inspection, and this is what we've done up to this point, so we know this is wrong, i.e. the plumbing, um, but um, you can't repair the plumbing to do your home inspection. So does that make sense? <laughs> Basically, you're not even allowed to scrape paint off of the wall. You're not allowed to paint a wall. You're not allowed to change the locks. You're not allowed to do anything physically that changes the property in any way. There's no moving your client's items into the property before closing because they technically don't own the property. Um, but buyers are allowed to do those home inspections because if you are able to get the electric on or the gas on or the plumbing on, then you can do a more extensive search. Um, homes that already have some damage to them and they're aware of it and they're disclosed up front, those can go through special loan types like an FHA 203B or a 203K, depending on the amount of work that needs to be done to the property. So I hope that explains a little bit more about what as is is because you as a realtor could lose the ability to sell a HUD property if you or your client goes into a property and alters it in any way. And that includes having the gas company come back to the property and install a gas meter on the outside. You and I probably wouldn't think that that is a physical alteration of the property, but it, it, it is. It is a change. They moved the meter off before I got the property, so there was no meter. When they called to have the meter put in for their inspections, they physically installed the meter. Can't do it. So it can result in your buyer losing their earnest money deposit. Don't want to do that. You don't want to do that a week before closing. Certainly by any means, if your client is trying to have the utilities turned on and your, co your contract got extended, but the client didn't call the utility company to say, hey, don't turn the utilities on. I didn't close on the house yet. It's not mine. Wait a week. Because they go in, they change it, the field services company or the agent goes through the property and does a final walkthrough for the client and they see somebody altered the house, they have to report it. And HUD can come after your buyer, cancel the contract, and keep the earnest money. Don't want to do that. So you as a buyer don't want to do that. So don't do it. Just don't go into somebody else's house and alter it without something in writing saying, hey, you're allowed to go in and change my house. <laughs> Buyers, don't start any repairs and please don't try to move into the house before you own it. It's not yours. Agents, you have to accompany, excuse me, agents, you have to accompany your inspections. You have to be there. You have to be there for your buyers. You can't just give the code out to your buyers and let them go walk around willy nilly. It's not your property, is it? You're not paying for insurance, are you? <laughs> Just keep that level head common sense, guys, and you'll be good. So HUD properties are an awesome purchase. It can be depending on the amount of work that's needing to be done to the property and whether that's what you're looking for or whether it's move-in ready. There's just so many options. Thanks for watching again. Hopefully I covered something that you got a little bit of knowledge from or a nugget. Please comment, like, share. Suggest items that I should be talking about. Sandy Curtis, Berkshire Hathaway Bowen Realty. Have a great day.